right, so yes, I totally pinched that from Stevie Ray, or took the basic idea, right, and then expanded upon it, made it my own a little bit. So the basic idea is we're taking position two and sliding back into position one, and then adding a little hammer on and pull off mojo in there. So we're gonna go eighth fret E, then we're gonna go 10th fret B, off to eight, but then we're going to slide down without letting that note drop off. We're going to let it sustain, use the pull off, and go all the way down to five. So we got get that rhythm because that rhythm of it is really important. Now we're going to go five E, five B, and then we're going to do that basic run we did in the riff before. Right, so we got. Now I'm going to do the same thing E5, B5. And then I'm going to do my first hammer on and pull off from 5, 7, 5. So we got. So I go hammer on, pull off, and then I go 8, B. end up on the eight. So you're taking a basic idea, and that's like maybe where the, the, where we'd start, and then we could go and resolve the riff, you know, here because you're basically bending into that A, or you could take it a step further and go back down and descend, maybe into one of those style of riffs that we did earlier. Right. So keep in mind what we're doing is we're taking basic riff ideas. Right, some of these don't sound basic and they don't look basic, right? And if and if we're just starting out, they definitely won't feel basic. But if you slow them down and you start with the simple, you know, starting point, step one, let's say, even if it's just and that's all you're doing, you're working that little spot. and you're getting a little bit of feel in there, a little bit of vibrato, then what, what's gonna happen is you can slowly just start to build those riffs in there and do something maybe simpler than what we just did. And resolve, so there's simple basic riffs and then we just keep building and building and building and building. Now let's take maybe another position. Again, we're just sticking in minor pentatonic majors coming up, and then we're gonna apply all of it to jam tracks. So I'm just giving you, you know, the, the little the little foundation, a little pathway to start to build upon when we're gonna start creating actual solos and applying the riffs over actual music. <laughs> 